Hi everybody, time to tune in to yourself and tune out the outside chatter. Today we're going to balance front and back bodies and in doing so introduce Shakti to Shiva, Shiva to Chakta, Sh Shiva to Shakti in uh, the energetic body. Uh, in Hindu mythology, Shiva and Shakti are one. Consciousness and energy. So consciousness and um, Shiva being the male and Shakti the female. So we're going to work with our breath as we balance the front and back body. And let's just start in Tadasana. If you're on the chair, you can do everything we're going to do today sitting in your chair. So in your chair, find your feet, place your feet on the ground, lift the inner and outer arches. I always talk about the outer arch right under the outside uh, protruding ankle bone, okay? Uh, you could have your feet about one inch apart or hips distance apart, but not wider. Lift the inner arch, outer arch, go back on your heels a bit, press down the mound under the big toe, the little toe. And by lifting those two arches, the shin bones lift towards the knees. Open the eyelids of the groin, navel back slightly, sternum back slightly, and widen the back body, turn the palms out. Now, let's imagine that every cell on the back of your body, every skin, skin cell is pointing down. It has arrows down. So it's like a waterfall from the shoulders down to your buttocks and the buttock flesh is moving towards your heel. Alternately, the skin on the front of the torso moves up. It turns at the shoulders and moves down. So let's just say that starting from the big toe, all the skin, skin cells are moving up with little arrows, turning the corner, and all your skin cells from the shoulders moving down to your heel. So front and back body. Let's just be with that body proprioception for a few moments here. So skin cells all pointing up, turning around, and sliding down the back body. Widen the collarbone, east to west. Open the hips, east to west. Open the heart, or the door to the heart. Big inhale, exhale, keeping your legs strong, palms facing each other. Let's lift the arms straight up. Okay, weight on the heels, press down on the mound under the big toe, mound under the little toe. Toes are soft like flower petals. Squeeze the upper back, let the skin slide down the back body, move up the front body. Palms facing each other. Turn, palms facing front, and then extend. Squeeze the upper back. Slight pelvic tilt, and come down. So Shiva resides at the base of the spine, and the Shakti, Shiva, is up here. And she awakens him. He just is waiting for her, her energy. So. With the ascending breath, Shiva, Shakti meets Shiva. Shiva then wakes up, they make love, and the nectar falls to your heart. Okay, so let's bring the consciousness in Tadasan. Go back to Tadasan. Okay, squeeze the upper back, move the skin up the front body, down the back body, turn your palms out. Bring the breath from the base of the spine to the third eye, and from the third eye down to the base of the spine. In between this sandwich, or Oreo cookie, if you want to call it, you know, the cookie layer, and then the creamy, exotic, shiny inner layer. Bring the breath up, and then drop the breath down. Bring the breath up, and drop the breath down. Big inhale, let's bring our hands up, grab the elbows, pull the elbows back and up, find the heels, slight pelvic tilt, moving the female energy 
down, 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 lengthening the highway. They travel along the spine, making the highway between Shiva and Shakti long. Pull the elbows apart, push them back, drop the chin, lift the arches on the feet, and come down. And let's switch. Bring the elbows up, heels down, feet getting as much real estate as they can on that mat, but the toes like flower petals. You can feel the outside of the foot, the inside of the foot, lift both arches, pull the elbows apart, lift them up, drop your female energy, expand between the eyes and be between the temples. And come on down, hands to the side, and let's just come up one more time, bringing the female energy up, holding your breath behind your eyes, and then exhaling. up to the consciousness, close your eyes, exhale, consciousness down to the base of the spine. Okay, let's open the legs. If you're sitting on the chair, just open your legs and extend. Okay, squeeze the upper back, put more energy on the little toe side of your foot, toes forward, feet in a line. Energy on the little toe, blade side of the foot. Lift inner and outer arch. You can feel strongly the energy coming up the groin. Extend the toes. Move the navel back. Widen the, fem widen the space for Shakti there. Widen between the temples. Squeeze the upper back. Lengthen the spine. And let the breath go up and down the highway of the spine. Best you can. Okay, let's turn our right hand up. Left hand up, right hand down. Left hand down, right hand up. Right hand down, left hand up. Come on down. And again, extend. We're going to just turn our left foot in and our right foot to the right, but keep our hips, breast, and eyes forward. Press down into the feet, lengthen the spine. To do that, slight pelvic tilt, squeeze the upper back, relax the jaw, and bring the hands down, toes forward, right foot in, left foot pointing left, highlight headlights of the hips forward, breast forward, eyes forward, Lift the legs, so lift the arches. So you're creating space here when you lift the arch. If you let the arches go, you'll feel, you know, you just collapse here. So lift the arches, squeeze the upper back, lengthen the spine as much as you can, and breathe up and down the highway that Shiva and Shakti travel the spine in between the front hands, both feet forward, okay. So now what we're going to do is if you're on the chair, you're going to bend forward and put your elbows on your knee and then rest your chin on your hands for the people who are chair bound and lengthen the spine, lengthen the highway. Those of us standing, we're going to come forward. Okay, coming forward with a flat back, okay, blocks ahead of us and breathe. So find the highway, find the spine, find the base of the spine, find the spot between the eyes, and breathe up and down the highway. Between the base of the spine and behind the eyes. But you know, there's kind of a little curve here to bring the breath forward. And move the hips back. If you can move your arms forward just to lengthen 
and flatten the back. So we don't want a cashew and we don't want a uh, hammock. So straight back, go in there with your mind and straighten the spine. And bring your feet together and put your hands on your thighs and come up. Next we're going to open our feet again a little wider and instead of the toes straight forward move them out kind of close to second position if you study belly but not the whole way out. We're going to inhale lengthen the spine lift the arches and then drop the female energy, okay? The kneecaps move towards the little toes. If you move the kneecaps to the front, you're gonna hurt your knees. Move the kneecaps towards the little toes and down. Drop the female energy, widen for Shakti. Drop the female energy. Then find the base of the spine, follow it up, squeeze the upper back and come into cactus. This is goddess pose and you can see why. You really imagine you're just building a great big lake at the bottom of your pelvic floor for Shakti to take a little bath. And come on up and we'll repeat. Drop the female energy. Okay, slight pelvic tilt, knees towards the little toe. Squeeze the upper back and wake up Shiva. Send him some love from Shakti. Come on up. Good. And let's turn around and finish with lifting, giving Shiva a lift here. it for today. Today is Tuesday. We'll have another encounter between Shiva and Shakti on Thursday and Friday we'll do a 15-minute meditation. It's good to see everybody. I'll see you next video.